What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to preserve the battery of your Galaxy S22 phone. Have it be a 22 Plus, 22 Ultra, or the regular S22. And this will also work with other Galaxy phones as well. And basically what it does is it limits the battery life so that it can only go to a certain percentage when you charge it. And I'll also show you a couple other things you might want to turn off in order to preserve it. But at the end of the day, we'll talk about why I would not do this ultimately. But without further ado, let's show you how to do it. So first thing you want to do is swipe down from the top, click the gear on the top right to go to settings. Once you're in settings, what you want to do is go towards the bottom and you're looking for battery and device care. Tap on that. Let this think for just a moment and you want to go into battery and then you want to go into more battery settings. You have all these things checked, probably turned on. The one that you want to do if you want to protect your battery and make it last probably a little bit longer so the battery overall gives you better battery life throughout the years is you want to turn on this power, uh, protect battery which is going to extend the lifespan of your battery and limit the maximum charge to 85%. Now, what that means is when you charge this phone, it's only gonna charge up to 85%, won't charge beyond 85%. But it means that your battery over time will be healthier as you use this and you know charge it over time. But also to add on to that fact is if you do turn this on, you're obviously not gonna have amazing battery life, meaning that you're losing 15% of your battery life because it's only charging to 85%, so it might die quicker throughout the day. You might have to charge it more. You might have to just use the battery more, ultimately because you're charging it more with the charger because it's only going to 85%. But if you have more than 85% or more than 15% of battery life by the end of the day, this would probably be perfectly fine for you. The other things you can do to potentially save your battery life would be to turn off super fast charging and fast charging and fast wireless charging. You just turn these off all right there if you wanted to. And that potentially will also prolong the life of your battery. Now, why wouldn't I recommend this? Well, I kind of already mentioned it. I wouldn't recommend it because you're almost dumbing down your phone in a way for the point of, you know, it's gonna, those warnings are gonna turn on that you only have 15% battery life left and then you have 5% battery left. That's gonna come quicker using the phone more ruggedly with gaming and whatever other apps have to be GPS or video conferencing, stuff that really uses the battery, you're gonna have less time to do that stuff with before you need to be at a charging station. That's why I wouldn't do it. If also, the other reason I wouldn't do it is if you upgrade every year or every 18 months, you shouldn't need to do this. Now, if you're a person that uses their phone for years on end, maybe three years or plus, two years plus, Potentially, I might think about doing that. Definitely three years or four years plus, I'd probably think about doing this more so. But, you know, uh, 18 months or less, definitely not. Two years, probably not. Uh, the other things, these turning these things off, fast charging, super fast charging, and fast wireless charging, means you're gonna charge really slow. You're gonna charge at probably like five amps, which is really slow. It's gonna take maybe a couple hours, a few hours to fully charge the phone. That's why I wouldn't do that by turning these off. Uh, but yeah, at your own discretion, and if you're going to keep your phone for years on end, then you might want to do that. That way you don't have to get a new battery or get a new phone or whatever. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.